right, gentlemen, happy Sunday. I have a very quick uh, interior mod for you guys today that will certainly save you some headache and might be the cheapest bang for your buck mod you'll be able to do for your Tacomas as far as the inside's concerned. So stay tuned and we will get right into it. Okay, I am here on the uh, passenger side, and the problem we are going to be addressing is the seat belts. Uh, primarily the four exterior seat belts. Obviously, you still have one for the middle. If you have a double cab, you have a, the middle seat belt, but, that, but the middle seat belt is not concerned right here because, as many of you may know, if you have your seat belts uh, like they are regularly, with your windows down, if you're probably going 40 miles an hour or faster, at least mine, they start. Uh, going like this and you can hear that just the plastic uh, bumping the plastic pillar right there and it drives me crazy I wouldn't necessarily classify it as one of the Tacoma rattles uh, because it's not constant uh, but it does bother me and I have come up with a cheap and effective solution to counterbalance this uh, another thing with the rear seats if you ever have anyone traveling in your back seat at least for me every time they get out uh, instead of letting the seat belt come back like this, it always ends up twisted and then either the metal uh, attachment point or again one of these parts in the back seat is wedged right in there between the uh, seat and the pillar. Uh, vibrates again every time you hit a bump, not necessarily dependent on the windows down like this one is. So I'm going to go back to the uh, back of the truck and show you what I have come up with. Okay, I was able to purchase, I want to say these came in six packs, either from Amazon or from eBay. It's pretty much a uh, quarter inch felt pad that, as you can see, if I can peel this back one-handed, has a uh, very sticky surface on the back. I know you can't tell it's sticky, but uh, trust me, it is sticky. So what I'm going to do, and I've already done this for all four uh, seatbelt areas save one, I also purchased, also from Amazon or eBay, this uh, faux leather. It is a, uh, you know, sort of medium gray, which might not be a perfect match for the color of the pillars, but it is pretty damn close. Okay, I'm inside on the uh, driver's side, got the seat out of the way so you can see. Uh, these come in rectangles, but what I did, I cut mine, you sort of hold it up there and eyeball it because the, uh, the pillar it's definitely thinner on one side, but then on this side it also has this little bump. I don't know if you can see that. It's not completely perpendicular, so... What I did, I just sort of snipped off the corner just to make it a little more streamlined. It is not identical, obviously. Uh, so after that, you... After you have your, uh, the plastic piece cut, you put it over the faux leather, and you want to have it overlap maybe a half inch around the, uh, the outer dimensions of the piece of plastic, or the piece of felt. That way you can snip the corners and tuck it under after removing the uh, piece of plastic that covers the adhesive. Uh, once this is all tightly secure, you uh, carefully place it where it's going to be. I recommend there's uh, two pieces to this pillar. It sort of lines up nice with the uh, bottom because when the seatbelt's not in use, it is above that line, so anything below is going to be wasted. Obviously you can uh, cut this down a few inches. I just left it as is. As is. As you can see, I think the gray matches up pretty nicely, so it's a fix that blends in. Obviously it sticks out a little bit, but that's not really that bad. So if you're on the other side with the windows down, it still makes a noise, but it's not the plastic on plastic noise. You can go to the other side here, like this. So it's at least half volume, which I'll take that all day long. Okay, and here's what I did for the back seat. And if I had to do this again, I might do it a little differently. It still uh, definitely covers plenty down here. If I had, I'm thinking about uh, maybe ordering some more and redoing these and maybe uh, doing the same size, but raising it a few inches and just doing a little cutout for this piece right here and then placing the whole piece of felt over that because I guess you're supposed to put the uh, seat belt strap in there and it keeps it sort of secure if no one's back here using it, but yeah, it seems sort of like a pain in the ass to me, so I might redo the back ones, but that is what they look like uh, for now. Here is the last piece I have to install. I just wanted to show it real quick. The plastic piece guarding the adhesive is off. You can see I have cut the faux leather around. Pretty much if you just cut each corner wherever it is uh, in half and then fold it over, 
Uh, that's how it will look. So hopefully you won't have any difficulty doing that. That is pretty much it for the video, gentlemen. So if you try this trick, uh, please let me know what you think, if it works, if you have any problems getting the uh, faux leather a cut, I can give you some pointers, uh, even though my wife pretty much did mine because she's much more crafty than me. So shout out to her. And that's it. Have a great Sunday. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more. Have a great weekend.